Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I have another theatre vlog for you. But tonight I'm actually heading out to the Lowry for the press night of Fantastically Great Women That Changed the World. Now I saw this, I think, was it last year or the year before? Really, really enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to going tonight and seeing the new cast. And yeah, it should be a fun evening. So obviously I'll get to the theatre, show you around the theatre. I'm not sure if they have merch. I think last time they had a little bit of merch. So we'll see if they've got any this time. Um obviously show you the theatre and I know you're allowed to co film the curtain call for this one as well so I'll do that for you and obviously I'll review the show when I get home so yeah I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog So I'm just at the tram station now, it's a very wet, miserable evening, but I've got five minutes to wait for the tram. Okay, so I was tidy to get the tram. The tram has sent a tram today and get off at the War Museum because it's actually quicker. The uh, one that goes past um, Media City takes ages. This one's only two stops from Cornbrook. And then you just walk down this little walkway to Lowry, so it will be quicker doing it this way today. Okay, so I'm just across the way from the Lowry now. It's just here. I'm just gonna hurry up and head in because it's very rainy. So I'm just gonna walk across the bridge. I'll get back to you once I'm inside. So I've just arrived at the Lowry station. Looks like there's a market on today. So I'm have a little look around before heading because I'm quite early. This looks very interesting. We'll go and have a look. making music. walking up to the keys first now it's nearly seven now so I'm gonna head up I've just picked up my program here and my tickets and a wristband. I've just got a drink, I've just got some orange juice and just waiting for it. So it's about to half seven, it's ten no, to seven now, so I've got quite a wait yet. Hoping the auditorium will open at seven and go in then. But yeah, I'll just quickly show you the bar here isn't open and it's not that busy, but I'll just show you what it looks like. We've got press drinks in front of me and then over there. Is the press dress and the public nice press dress. And yeah, and then this is my program. I'm not a proper look at this yet, it's so gonna have a little look through it. And then this is my ticket. I am on row G C five in the stalls. 
Okay, so the auditorium is now open, so I am in the stalls. I'm on row C, seat 11, so let's go down and find a seat. Okay. Now I'm row C, seat 11. My seat, there is loud music on, so I'll have to see if I can edit it out. Um, but I'm in my seat, I'm on row seat 11, the view is fantastic. And I'll just quickly show you my view. Yeah, really, really good. There's loads of leg room as well in here. Look at all this leg room. Best leg room I've ever seen, so should be a really comfortable seat. There we go. Yep, just got waiting for the show to start now. It is a one act show. It's 18 minutes, so I won't be able to tell you what I can fit in the interval. I'll have to tell you at the end of the show.
for the show is over now. It was so good. I really, really enjoyed that. Definitely get down and see if you can. So much fun. Okay, so the show has finished out. It was so good. Really, really enjoyed it. But now I need to run and try and get the tram. I go this way. Out. So I'm just waiting for the tram. Now there's lots of like light exhibitions around here. There's just some kind of thing going on. We've got like flowers over there. Anyway, tram's due in four minutes. days since I went to see Fantastically Great Women That Changed the World. So I thought I'd give you a little review on the show. So I was invited to the show's press night which took place on Thursday the 7th of December. The show started at 7.30 and it has a runtime of 80 minutes and there's no interval so it's just straight through 80 minutes. And I have to say usually when an interval, usually when the show is that long I feel like it's dragging. This seemed to fly by. I think it's just because it's such a good show. It's so enjoyable and it, and it doesn't drag at all. It's a really good show. So the show is recommended for seven plus and it is aimed more at children than adults. However, I've been to see the show twice now by myself with no children and I absolutely love it. So you don't have to be a child to enjoy this show adults enjoy it as well there's lots of adults there without children obviously children will get a good message from this show but adults can enjoy it as well because I absolutely love this show so for this performance I was sat in the stalls I was originally going to sit in row G because I was there on my own they did actually move me um, forward a bit so I ended up being on row C C11 and that row is such a good row to sit on because it's got loads of leg room it seems to be a really big gap in that row um so there's absolutely loads of reg leg room on that row so i'd definitely sit there again and the view was absolutely excellent from that seat so definitely a good row to sit on so this show does have a bit of merch unfortunately they don't do magnets i'm not sure why they don't do magnets i would really have wanted a magnet for this one but they don't do magnets they do do a couple of pin badges so yeah there was two different pin badges that you could get which i think was 6.99 uh, I'll just check me thing. Oh, six pounds. The pin badges were six pounds. They had they had an activity book for six ninety nine. They had some of the fantastic great women that changed the world books. I think they were six ninety nine. They had a notebook for twelve pounds, and then they had the program, which was five pounds. And to be honest, that's a bargain. Look at the size of this program. It's such a nice program for five pounds. That's a bargain. That one. So if you don't know anything about Fantastic Great Women That Changed the World, it's a musical based on the popular children's book Fantastic Great Women That Changed the World by Kate Pankhurst. And yes, she is actually a descendant of Emmeline Pankhurst. But apparently she didn't know that when she was writing the book. She actually found that out later on. The show's also been produced by one of the producers of Six and you can actually tell because there is a lot of elements in this that do remind me of Six. Some of the dancing in it sort of reminds me of Six. They do a mega mix in the end like they do with Six so you, it does definitely, you can definitely see it's definitely got the sort of Six formula to it. Also quite a number of the cast have actually been in Six so there's definitely a Six link in this show. So this production has been directed by Amy Hodge and the show tells the story of Jade. She is a young girl who goes on a school trip to a museum. She gets separated from her class and she ends up in an exhibit, an exhibit which is closed and the exhibit is called The Gallery of Greatness. Um, whilst there she ends up meeting a few historical characters, some great women who have changed the world. So she meets Amelia Earhart, uh, she was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean and the first person to fly solo across the Pacific Ocean. She actually disappeared in 1937 whilst trying to become the first woman to fly around the world so she was never found, no one knows, really knows what happened to her but she had some great achievements. Uh, another person she meets is Sacagawea, she lived in the Autwixa village 
not 100% sure how you pronounce it, but something like that, um, until she was about 12. And then she was taken from her village by the Hidasta tribe uh, during a raid. Um, so when two American officers, Captain Merriweather Lewis and Second Lieutenant William Clark, wanted to travel across the west of the USA, they enlisted Sacagawea's help because she could speak both languages from both her original tribe and her new tribe um, and so they needed her help to find food and show the way across the Rocky Mountains and she did all that with her young baby strapped to her back and that's what she is uh, famous for. She then meets Gertrude Ederly and at just 20 years old she managed to swim the English Channel. She was the first woman to do so and she actually did it two hours faster than any of the men that had done it. She then met Emmeline Panker. So in 1903, Emmeline began her campaign uh, to get women the vote. So up until then, women couldn't vote. They couldn't have any say in who was elected um, or how the country was run. So Emmeline started the movement of the suffragette and she, her motto was deeds, not words. She also then met Frida Kaur. So Frida was training to be a doctor when she actually ended up being in a traffic accident. So due to the accident, she was unable to complete her training to become a doctor. So she turned to art uh, and she's actually now one of the most celebrated artists. So she also met Jane Austen. Jane Austen uh, has met, has written a lot of famous books such as Sense and Sensibility, um, books like that. But at the time she couldn't publish the books in her own name because she was a woman. Um, that's another character she met. She also met Mary Seacole. Uh, Mary was born in Jamaica and she was trained by her mother to be a nurse. Uh, she decided she wanted to help the British troops in the Crimean War but the war officer refused her a job. So she travelled herself and set up the British Hotel and they nursed many soldiers back to health and provided food. She even um, helped soldiers from the other side as well. And then another character she met was Mary Anning. So Mary's family made their living selling fossils which she found on the beach in Lyme Regis and Mary actually ended up discovering some full-size dinosaur skeletons and this actually helped to prove that our dinosaurs actually existed and that the world is actually millions of years old so they were really important discoveries. She then met Marie Curie. Uh, Marie discovered two new elements, polonium and radium, and she actually won the Nobel Prize twice for chemistry and once for physics. And she's actually the only person to ever have won in two different fields. Another character she met was Agent Fifi, whose real name is Marie Christine Chivalry. Chivalry? Chivalry. So during World War II, Marie was studying languages in Paris when Germany invaded. Uh, she was sent to a prison camp but she managed to escape and the government was so impressed with her that they ended up hiring her as a secret agent and her job was to train other spies and test their abilities. She also met Rosa Parks. So in 1955 in America it was a time when white and black people were segregated and the law actually stated that black people should give up their seats on the bus uh, for white people. So on one occasion when Rosa was asked for her seat she actually refused. She was arrested but her act began a movement where black people refused to use buses until this and many other laws were changed. And the final person that she ended up meeting in the exhibit was Anne Frank. So during two World War II Jewish people were targeted by the Nazis and sent to prison camp. Anne had to go into hiding with her family and she actually remained hidden for two years. And whilst hiding, she actually wrote, wrote a diary um, about her fears and what was happening. So eventually Anne's family were discovered and sent to a prison camp where they were killed, all except for her father. And it was her father that actually ended up publishing her diaries. So as Jade meets these characters and learns their story, she becomes more confident in herself and the things that she thinks she can achieve. Um, she's going through some stuff in her life at the moment. Her parents are getting a divorce and she doesn't know how to express her feelings to them on how she's feeling. And talking to these women 
helps her build her confidence and make her believe that she can do whatever she puts her mind to. So it's a really good story, it has a really great message, it definitely would speak to young girls, even young boys, um, letting them know that anything is possible if they put their mind to it. Um, and yeah, I just really love the message it gives and it's told in such a beautiful way. Um, the music in this is fantastic. It's got a real good pop score, um, very much like Six. They're all so, the songs are just so catchy. Every single song in that show is an earworm and you'll be going home singing all of them. Literally, I've been listening to the soundtrack nonstop since I saw the show. I just absolutely love it. It's It's got a fantastic soundtrack, it really has. Um, the songs are one of the best things about the show. Obviously the story is the story's great as well, but I just, I love the songs from this show. Uh, and they also really help tell the story really well as well. The songs are fantastic. I also thought the choreography in this show is really good. It's quite simple choreography, uh, quite simple to follow. So I could see young girls maybe learn the choreography and doing the dances to some of these songs. Um, I really enjoyed the choreography. I thought it was, it was fun, fun, um, fun dance, fun choreography to the songs. Um, costumes I thought were really, really good. I love the suffragette costumes. I thought they're fantastic and um yeah they're all really colorful as well really nice and bright and colorful um and they definitely stood out against jade's like gray school uniform the costumes were all so much brighter and colorful uh, but so yeah i really love all the costumes the staging is very simple the set's very simple so yeah the set was very simple it sort of had like a structure at the back where on top the band would sit and play and this this had lights all around it and throughout the show the lights would change different colors to make the show really more colorful they had big letters scattered around which eventually spell out the word great um there was little cubby holes in the this structure at the back of the stage where the characters would pop out from um, so it was simple but it worked well for the show because the focus of this show is definitely very much on the characters so it didn't need a big elaborate set you were very much focused on the characters and i actually think it's better not having this big elaborate set because you're you are more focused on the characters and their story and that is what this show is about it's based on the characters and their stories and it is the characters telling their stories and jade learning about them and yeah i thought the the way it's staged i think it is really clever because you do are much more focused on the stories um i think i said the costumes were fantastic they they fit in really well with the story and yeah this is just such a fun fun show and the cast is just fantastic so i have seen this show once before and it's the last run at the lowry which was was it i can't remember when it was was it two years ago i'm not sure when it was last on but it's last tour at the lowry i saw it then and absolutely loved it really really did and do you know what i loved it even more the second time round um, this is a show that I could see again and again and again and not get bored of it. It's just such a good, good feel good show. Definitely, you definitely leave the theatre with a big smile on your face. And yeah, it's just a really good feel good show. The cast for this were fantastic. Like I said, there's a few six alumni in this. Their voices are just outstanding. Every single one of them, their voices are just fantastic and I thought they all worked really well together as a team they had great harmonies and yeah they were just such a good team together uh, so actually this is a good point to go through the program and then I can show you the cast and tell you a bit about them okay so this is the program fantastic great women that changed the world the musical and it says at the bottom based on the book by Kate Pankhurst and published by Bloomsbury so this isn't a four size program it's a glossy uh it's really well made actually uh so in the front cover you've got uh advert for the fantastic great women book series and then you've got a note here from kate pa kate pankhurst 
So it's bringing fantastically great women to life. So you've got this little article here with some great pictures. You can see um, the costume designs, the artwork for these costumes. You've got a note here from the director. I have to say, this is a really nice programme for £5. It's a really nice one. You've got a question and answer with Miranda Cooper. It's got some rehearsal photos here. Uh, fantastic great women are still changing the world. So these are some um, women that are currently changing the world and what they are doing. Which is really good. That's really inspirational for young women to see what women today are doing to change the world. So I actually really like that. I thought it was really interesting. Um, then this is a page of the fantastic great women you will meet in the show. This tells you all the women that are in the show and why they have or in what way they have changed the world. Then you have this timeline. And then you've got Meet the Cast. So here are the cast biographies. So playing Jade, we had Georgia Grant Anderson. I thought she was fantastic. I actually really, really enjoyed her performance. You, I actually really believed that she was this young girl and the way she played it, the way she got excited about things. And yeah, I just, she was really believable as this 10 year old girl and the things that she was seeing. So I loved her performance. She had a really good voice as well. And yeah, I thought she did a great job. So Georgia's theatre credits include Gabs in the UK tour of David Williams' Demon Dentist. Uh, she was also in A Panto of Beauty and the Beast. And she was actually nominated for Best Newcomer in the 2022 Panto Awards for that. That's some work that she's done. Then we had Jennifer Caldwell playing Emmeline Pankhurst. So when I actually saw the show last year, she was playing the same role then and she is absolutely fantastic really love her in her roles she's fantastic as emmeline pankhurst she also plays agent fifi and miss johnson um but yeah she's got a fantastic voice she's really really good so jennifer's theater credits include anne boleyn in six in the uk island tour and also the korean tour she was also the alternate anne boleyn and Catherine Howard in the six UK and Ireland tour and South Korean tour. She's also been in American Idiot. And yet those are just a few things that she has done. Then we had Elena Breshi, who played Sakajawea, Frida Cole, uh, Marie Corey and Miss Morris. And I thought she was really good. Again, her voice was fantastic and she did a really good job. So Elena's theatre credits include Faith in King of Transport, Little Tree in Little Fir Tree and Glitter Jane in LOL Surprise Live. Um, she's also played Catherine Part in Six the Musical on the Norwegian Cruise on the Norwegian Cruise Line. We then had Chloe Hart. She played Gertrude Edley, Jane Austen, Mary Anning and Miss Richards. So Chloe's theatre credits include Tracy Turnblad in Hairspray at the Shaftesbury Theatre, Pat in the original cast of Kinky Boots, she was in the ensemble of Wicked, she was a factory girl and cover Madame Thenardier in Les Mis and she's most recently been in the UK tour of six playing Catherine of Aragon. We then had Leah Vassal, she played Amelia Earhart, Mary Seacole, Rosa Parks and Miss Ashley. So unfortunately my camera battery has just died so I'm just gonna have to finish this off on my phone. Sorry about that but um, next we had Summer Priest, she was the swing. Her theatre credits include Get Up Stand Up on the West End, Heather's UK tour. Um, yeah, those are some of her uh, theatre credits. And then we had Rachel Serian, who is swing slash dance captain. 
and her theatre credits include she was the swing slash understudy pretty in everybody's talking about jamie she vested tilly slash betty in the land of might have been um and she's also been in the christmas carol as well so that is the cast then we have this page here so this lists your cast here the musicians production team creative and the creative team there we go and then meet the musicians so this is the musicians biographies this is the creative team's biographies and then we have the song list here so this last lists the songs there's not a lot of songs in it but remember mind it is only an 80 minute show so we have quiet children i'm here where do you want to go deeds not words a world of color Mary, Mary and Marie, Fifi, Super Spy, Mary Reprise, Rose's Lullaby, Fantastically Great and The Mega Mix. Now, I really struggle to pick a favourite out of these songs because I love all of them. They're all so good. I really love Fantastically Great. That's a really good one. I love Deeds Not Words, um, but I love all of them. I really do. And I don't think I can pick one as a favourite one I think um, maybe if I had to pick I'd maybe pick Fantastic Great and Deez Not Words as my favourite but I, I love them all they're such good well written songs and they're just so catchy they're really good pop tunes so here we've got the producer uh, it says here it's in association with Mass Mayflower Studios in Southampton we have an advert here for Six UK Tour and then we've got an advert here for Peter Pan Goes Wrong UK Tour. And then that is your programme. On the back here, it tells you the tour dates. So it's already been to the Wimble Theatre, Wimbledon New Theatre. It's currently at the Lowry until the 7th of January. And then it's moving on to Cardiff's Millennium Centre, Milton Keynes Theatre, Coventry Belgrade Theatre, Chinchester Festival Theatre, Newcastle Theatre Royal, Leeds Grand Theatre and the Nottingham Theatre Royal. So there are the venues that you can see at next year. So yeah, like I was saying, this is a fantastic musical. I absolutely love it. Like I said, this is my second time seeing it and second time really enjoying it. Um, last time I saw it, I don't think I reviewed it. I did a, like a vlog video don't think I did a review so I don't think I gave it a star rating last time um but I'm giving it five stars like I said I absolutely love it I think the message is great uh the songs are really catchy and um, it's got great actors in it and it's just a fantastic musical and I would definitely bring my daughter to see this show and my son once they're old enough just not quite old enough yet like I said it's they recommend age seven plus and my children are, well, my daughter's just turned six. So maybe next year, if it, if it um, tours, I will take her to see it because it, it's a great show and I definitely recommend it to everyone. I absolutely love it. And if it tours again next year, I will be going to see it again next year because I really do enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog and review for Fantastic Great Women That Changed the World. Uh, if you do enjoy these sort of videos, then do subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, and you'll be notified as soon as a new video goes up. I do have some Hamilton vid. I've actually got two videos of Hamilton to go up. I just haven't had a chance to do them yet. So that should be the next one to go up. And obviously there is loads of shows coming up next year. Absolutely loads. Because, so there'll be loads of new review and theatre vlogs coming up next year. Um, so if you'd like to see any of them, like I said, do hit the notify, do subscribe and hit the notification bell and be notified as soon as they go up. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.